the other great piece of luck, since I had been so close with John Baldessari when I was still in California, and John was just one of these people whose niceness or whose considerateness is almost beyond ex explanation. Like, there's no accounting for it. it was, he owed us nothing. He owed us absolutely nothing at all. Yet, he, whenever John came to New York and he was, in those years, showing his work with Ileana Sonnabend, who was the preeminent avant-garde dealer in the world, um, John would never come to New York without calling and saying, you know, come, come meet us for lunch, or come, meet, come have dinner with Ileana, or come meet this person, come that person. He was always looking out for us. By us, I mean a small group of people who'd been in, in his class at school. I don't know what what he, I don't know, I don't even, I'm just amazed by it because I can't imagine anyone else doing it. So we were not complete, um, we were not completely anonymous supplicants. I mean, we were largely anonymous supplicants, but not entirely. And it's, when you're that age, I mean, we were very young. I came to New York, I was 22. Those little things, those little kindnesses, sort of sustain you. you know, it doesn't even take much. You know, a couple of times a year for someone to acknowledge that you exist is in a way enough to keep going.